I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. Just got to stay in a positive frame of mind. Cody here with another figure review and today we're going to be looking at the Shady Acres Ace Ventura Pet Detective figure by NECA Toys. I am very happy that NECA is starting to tackle some of the uh, Jim Carrey um, related like films. I hope one day they do a mask figure. I really want to see them do the mask. Um, <laughs> it would be really cool. But um, Ace Ventura is one of my favorite Jim Carrey films, and Jim Carrey is a huge idol of mine, so I had to pick this up when I went to the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo last month. And this, I gotta say, I'm kind of blown away by the look of uh, this figure because they did definitely improve on the other figure, which I've only seen pictures of. I keep saying that the original figure that they did where he's in his more recognized attire that he usually wears in both films is close to looking like Ross from Friends than it does Jim Carrey and this actually looks like Jim Carrey so uh, we'll take a look at it in just a second but we're going to take a look at the packaging. Uh, you got a nice window box with the Shady Acres logo at the top and then it says Ace Ventura Pet Detective down here at the bottom. On the side here we have a shot of the figure with a bunch of um, like uh, I guess <laughs> I can't remember what they call it. I call it like John Maddening um where they sketch out the the play and stuff for football so as i'm open i'm open right there and then on the other side we have one of his more recognized quotes from the scene i'm ready to go in coach just give me a chance <laughs> so uh and then the top here just has the ace ventura shady acres logo on the bottom it just has all that information right there and on the back we have a nice shot of the figure there with a uh, quote box that says hello friends I'm back at it this time going deep undercover at the Shady Acres psychiatric, psychiatric facility to look for clues that will hopefully lead me to the precious missing snowflake as a master of disguise I'm sure to fool that good doctor when I execute this button hook pattern in super slow-mo let's see that in an instant replay so that's a that was that's pretty cool I like I like that they uh, put that little quote in there so let's take the figure out of the box and see what he's like all right guys so here is the figure out of the packaging and uh, he's only got one accessory and one head sculpt there but we're gonna take a look, close look at the figure but before we get started i gotta mention that i just love the fact that they included this replica of ace ventura pet detectives um like id card right there that is that is really cool to serve and protect your pets. It's just a cardboard, you know, piece there, but it's still a really, really fun ad right there. But anyway, here is the figure itself. As you can see, there is the head sculpt, and I gotta say, it has a great likeness to Jim Carrey. It is not a terrible head sculpt. It is definitely better than the original figure, but. Um, I do like that also that this is actually really, um, or real clothing. So this is a tailored outfit for the figure, with the accurate details. You even got the pink tutu and then you got his, uh, his checkered pattern pants right there. Got his, his socks peeking through his boots there, which is awesome. Really like that. And you can see the sculpting also in the hair right there, which is really nice. So very, very awesome figure. Um, as for the articulation of the figure, his head does fully rotate right here. So it can fully rotate. It does move up about that high, does move down, and it does move side to side very well, very fluently. His arms do go out that much right there, and they do 
hinge in and out, rotated the bicep. They do bend at the elbow right there. It's a single point joint right there. He does hinge at the wrist and rotate. He does have ab crunch right there. He does, his legs go that far out right there. Does bend at the knee right there with a single joint. He does rotate at the, at the boot right there. And he does have ankle pivot right there. So fairly nice articulation, not bad at all. Now, his accessories. He does come with this dog. Um, <laughs> it's funny because this dog is actually from the opening scene of the movie when he's the UPS driver. And this dog is not in this scene specifically. So I guess it's cool that they included this. But, I mean, it is adorable and it kind of does look like my dog Adelie a little bit. So it's good to have this little, little toy there. A little add-on piece. And he does also come with this extra accessory head which is supposed to be his, you know, look when he's doing that crazy look at the doctor doing that quote, I'm ready to go in coach. So yeah, that is pretty good right there. I do like the little, you know, side lip right there that's making him look a little like crazy. So the way to change the head out, it is actually pretty complicated. NECA's figures usually, um, they're so well made when, when it comes to the joints and stuff. They're easy to take the head off sometimes. In this case, you really have to pull. <laughs> but putting it on is crazy. Uh, yeah, you can see there's the, the joint right there. And inside there is a peg system. And it, okay, so you can see it's just kind of loose right there, but you really have to push it in. I don't have to do it off camera just to make sure it's in. There we go, saw the pop there so um i usually display it with this head and i will show you why in just a second because this figure actually does a really good job at sitting on the edge of like certain uh areas of my shelf so let me show you guys that real quick so as you can see i have him sitting on the edge of my uh, shelf right here which it looks really nice um this is like literally what i recognize him mostly from is this scene uh, where he's sitting on the bench and he's just giving that look. So yeah, I, I really think this is the best way to pose him personally. So yeah, I, I really enjoy this, this figure. It's a great, great addition to my collection, especially being such a 90s fan. I just really wish I can get that, uh, that other one. Um, if anyone out there actually has the original Ace Ventura figure, let me know. Hell, even the animated series version I would like to get so I could have the whole set. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. I am am happy to, to have this figure. But guys, anyway, thanks for watching. As always, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I will be back with more videos soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you guys later.